spread course. Robert Schlett from Guy Carpenter, team number one on the blue. The toughest thing about being disabled is probably having the daily functions of a normal life. Grocery shopping, putting on my shoes. Accessibility, you know, stairs obviously, climbing stairs is definitely not my forte. Getting up to go to the bathroom at night. Consciously thinking about how I look and how I'm going to appear to other people. Uh, it's waking up in the morning and not being able to put two feet on the floor. Getting the public to understand that we as disabled Americans, disabled human beings, uh, are no different than they are. Sometimes it's explaining to people that you can't always see what the disability is. Sometimes it just is. You know, like going through security at the airport, you know, they got to pat you down, they got to take the, the swab on, on, on your leg, they, you, you know, you got you to have an x-ray of it done. Is when I go to CrossFit at the Y, and I'm working out, doing sit-ups and doing chin-ups and jumping off boxes and doing everything else. And then as I leave, the 90-year-old woman that just came from Pilates that runs to the door to open it for me. A lot of people when you're disabled, they want to do stuff for you. And it, it's, it's tough to tell them, hey, you know, uh, I can do this. I can't dance like I used to maybe, but I couldn't dance in the first place, so. I think the toughest part for me is people actually believing that I'm disabled and getting girls, you know? So I, it's just not quite the same. I can't quite pick up the ladies with prosthetic legs, but if I jump up and down enough, eventually I get them. The one thing that lets me forget about my disability is being active. Sports. Uh, I love basketball, I love tennis, um, I love biking, like mountain biking. Kayaking, uh, I guess water skiing. Golf. Swimming. Being outside in any sport environment. Riding on a bicycle in the countryside. Snowboarding. <laughs> the one thing that lets me forget about my disability is skiing. I would say skiing. 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 It makes me feel strong, to be perfectly honest. It just gets me going and it's one of the reasons I can be as happy as I am. It gives me a sense that I'm not disabled and it gives me just a, a great deal of energy and uh, relaxation at the same time. It makes me feel free again. I, I forget about it all when I'm on the mountain. Um, I might feel pain, but there's, no, there's nothing that feels like it's gonna stop me. It makes me feel at ease. I don't, I'm not thinking so much about my disability. I'm not thinking about what possible nightmare I could have had the night before. Free, 
normal. Nothing holds me back out here, except for ski patrol, but that's okay. I love the speed. I, 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 did, I love the beauty of it all. Being on the mountain makes me feel like I, I'm alive again. You, you're, you're all alone, you're your own person. It's, it's the alone time and it, it empowers you. All in all, it's just fun. It's pure and simple fun. And I, I just enjoy it so much. The best part is when you, you get off the lift at the top of the hill and you might be fixing a glove or something and somebody comes by you and asks you if you need help and say, help with what? And they say, you know, help get down the mountain. And then you pass them in about five seconds. That's, that's probably the best part. This event means a lot to me because it really shows the deep commitment that the folks at AIG have for our programs. And because I get to be with the Wounded Warriors, they're like family. So AIG puts on this event to get closer to its customers, to get closer to its distribution partners, and it links to what we do as our core business. And we love to see people overcome their disability. And that's such a, a, a great inspiration to all of us. I get to meet new people and I get to positively reintegrate myself into a sport that I love and as well as a new community. The camaraderie between everybody, it, it's, it's nice to be around people who get it, who understand. This is just one more building block of getting back to what I consider a, a healthy, normal life. It's always great getting around a group of like-minded individuals, people who have had a setback in the life and now have the opportunity to overcome it and then exceed what other people can do and over exceed what they've thought they could do at one point. Without these events, I don't, I don't know what I would do. I, I, I'd have to be a ski bum somewhere. I've never done an event where there was such uh, participation from one company and it's, it's great to have everybody. I mean, it's, it's a massive amount of people and they're all coming to support you and really not just to support you, uh, uh, you kind of feel like royalty, really. The amount of money that we raise here is phenomenal and it helps provide uh, tremendous support to warfighter sports. This event is a big reason why I was able to go to, to Russia and, and represent, represent my country for the second time. Uh, what does bring on tomorrow mean to me? It means controlling your circumstances and not letting your circumstances control you. Have fun with, with whatever the day brings you. Enjoy it, push forward. Don't let yourself be down. Don't let any obstacle or hurdle that you wake up with that morning reflect your entire day. Another opportunity to get it right, another opportunity to serve, another opportunity to help somebody realize their dreams. There's always another day and there's always a chance to get better at what you're doing and push yourself even harder. There's, there's nothing that's gonna stop me today or tomorrow. Uh, bring it on. <laughs> I believe it gives you the power to get through the day and look forward to having a new day and a new opportunity. Uh, having just got back from Sochi, Russia, bring on tomorrow means uh, that there's about 1,400 days till Korea. Bring on tomorrow really means just, just whatever comes my way, whatever's, whatever doors open, I just walk right through it full force. It means commitment, hope for the future. Give me your best shot because I'm going to come back and I'm going to beat you. And what does Bring On Tomorrow mean to us here at AIG? It's our belief in the power of the human spirit, helping others when they need it most, empowering them not only to adapt, but to overcome life's challenges. Our kudos to the athletes here, who inspire us by pushing themselves each day so they can realize a better tomorrow.